Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kitty. And for all you new viewers that have not clicked subscribe yet, I would really love for you guys to click subscribe because my channel is not only about um, DIY cleaners, I actually do other videos like story time, makeup videos, and things like that, which I am gonna get back to. But these videos right now are very, very highly requested. So I'm making these right now and then I'll get back to, you know, switching it up. All right, so as for this one, I am making a DIY Clorox disinfectant spray. I have the bottles flipped backwards because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be showing the name brands. I have done it in the past, but I don't think I'm supposed to. So for this spray, all you need is three ingredients. Technically only two, but this one is a optional and it's actually, it helps like with the scent and everything. So again, it's optional. And here I have already a little bit left. I made a batch with just water and Clorox. And I have just a little bit left in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a new batch anyways. Um, but in this, I'm gonna include this one. So all you need is um, a quarter cup of Clorox bleach or any bleach. Just make sure it doesn't say splashes because that one is not a disinfectant. I just learned that not too long ago. So it must say disinfecting bleach on it. And then any type of detergent, not, I don't think you're supposed to use the fabric softener, it's just the regular detergent, like, you know, laundry, clothing, laundry detergent, whatever. And then the third one is water, which I have in here. All right, you guys, so let's get to this video. All right, I don't wanna bleach my table, so I'm gonna set this, actually, let me get a paper towel real quick. <laughs> Since there is a little bit of bleach in here, I don't want this bleach to really touch my table. Even though the table's all beat up and stuff, I need a new one, but you gotta take care of it. You gotta take care of what you have no matter how it looks. You gotta love it the same. All right, so I probably should have gotten a funnel, but I don't have a chemical funnel right now. And I don't like, like these uh, measuring cups are for chemical only, that's why I wrote on them. So let's see how I can do this without spilling. If you guys know me, I'm messy, so I don't know how this is gonna work. But let's try. Actually, let me get another paper towel. So here we go. So just a quarter cup of bleach. Ooh, please don't spill. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. You're supposed to get a funnel. You know what? It's bleach, right? You're supposed to use bleach to sanitize things, even dishes sometimes. So I'm gonna get a funnel. Can you tell I'm a little unprepared? But you guys have been requesting this video, a few of you, um, and so I don't want to disappoint and keep you guys waiting. So I didn't even prepare everything I needed. So here we go. Quarter cup of bleach and watch your eyes, you guys. <laughs> okay, so we got that in there. And as usual, Rain's out there screaming his head off every time I'm making a video. Nothing new. Just rain, being a jerk. <laughs> All right, so now a teaspoon of detergent. Come on, kitty, you could do this. Ooh, perfect. I don't think I'm gonna use a funnel for this. Can you see my prowl face? I did it, I didn't spill it. You guys know I'm a mess. Last but not least, water. So let's see how much water I'm using. This is a 32 ounce um, spray bottle. I would fill it up to almost the top. So about right there. So just around here. You just fill it up with water and that's it you guys. You have your own Clorox dis disinfectant spray. So you just mix it around. So it wasn't that easy. Now I do have some tips. Um, if you're using this to clean your bathroom, like let's say the toilets and um, 
even the doorknobs and entrances and everything like you know your door entry to so disinfect anything just make sure wherever you're spraying it is not something that has a carpet like obviously like let's say you're spraying the toilet if you normally have a carpet right there i would move it because you're going to bleach the carpet if there's any clothes nearby make sure your clothes are not like going out clothing make sure you change into something that you don't mind if it sprays back because it is bleach you know you're disinfecting with this stuff so make sure you're careful with anything you spray if you're spraying like on stainless steel i wouldn't leave it on too long because it can mess with the color i've done that in my shower now it does go back to normal but i don't want to be the one to give you the okay to do it just because i did it and mine went back to normal um do your research make sure it is safe for wherever you're using it on now for kitchen counters and like i said toilets bathroom sinks you know your showers this is also great for mold now me personally i don't like to do the one fourth cup when it comes for, to mold like shower mold and stuff um i like to do half and half it is clorox bleach i repeat i know i've said that a bunch of times but i want to be clear about that so it is strong, it has fumes. I like to wear a face mask. And even with the face mask, I will have a brand new washed, uh, white washcloth, and I'll put that over my face, you know, as well. And I hold it tight and I try to spray as quick as possible and watch your step, make sure there's no carpet. I cannot say that enough. Don't bleach your carpet. It's not my fault if you guys do it and do the move your carpet. Um, but yeah, so right now, this is very important to have with everything going on. So if you make this batch yourself, let me know in the comments below how you liked it and how did it work for you. And that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful to somebody. And if you guys have any more requests like you have been doing, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I know you guys have came across a lot of some older videos of mine which is great and uh, if you want those videos in an updated version go ahead and let me know so that is it i appreciate each and every one of you and i will see you guys on the next one love you guys